TVs you'll see in the shop usually have the contrast, the colour and the brightness turned up full whack. That's going to catch your eye when you're browsing. However, when you get that TV home and turn it on, it might look pretty garish. We publish ideal picture settings for every TV that we test, as set by our experts. Keep watching to find out how to personalise your TV's picture to your tastes. First job, head to the settings menu. It might be worth taking a note of these default settings, just in case you need to come back to them later. But it's also worth noting that each manufacturer does settings slightly differently. Now pick a picture mode. There should be a range of options available, but pick standard or user if it's available on your TV. You'll see a range of picture enhancement features on your TV. They've usually got unusual names, like film mode and motion plus. Try to turn as many off as possible. You can always turn them back on later on. We've paused our Blu-ray film on a scene with lots of dark and shadowy areas. Now, we want to find the colour setting in the menu. We want to turn that right down until we get a black and white picture on screen. Adjust the brightness until you can only just make out detail in the darker areas. Now, adjust the contrast so the picture looks comfortable to watch, but not washed out or faded. A modern TV's backlight illuminates the screen. Try to adjust it so the picture is not too dark, but also the light is not so high that it bleeds out the edges of the screen. Keep adjusting the brightness and contrast until both are comfortable to your eye. We've used just one scene here from the movie, but it sometimes helps to use a light and a dark scene so you can see the contrast between the two. There's usually some compromise involved here, but just try to find a balance that suits you best. Now find a scene in the film with a close-up of an actor's face with lots of natural light. Turn back up the colour until the skin tones look exactly as they would in real life. Finally, adjust the sharpness so the lines and details are comfortable to your eye. So you've got the TV looking how you want it. Great. Now you can start turning back on some of those picture enhancement features and see if any of them are to your tastes. Some will reduce distortion, others will smooth out motion. The key thing is to try them out gradually and don't be afraid to turn them off again if you don't like what you see on screen. So now that's all done, you can settle back and watch your favourite TV programmes in the best possible way. Click the links below for our online guide on getting the best TV picture, what makes a Best Buy TV and what is Smart TV.